Today on our very first episode of Skyline, is it history or is it racism? The debate over statues across the country and here in New York City heats up. Plus, a landmark New York bridge goes down with a boom and we got up close and personal with the governor. We have those stories and more from across New York City and your own backyard. This is Skyline. Welcome to the very first episode of Skyline, featuring stories from across New York City and your own backyard. First up, the debate over historic statues has been heating up across the country and now here at home. The Columbus statue in Central Park has been vandalized. Emerald Fletcher is there with the details. We went down to Columbus Circle to see some of the vocal protesters rally together and they aren't too happy with the Columbus statue standing tall. Why should we see these, these racist statues that represent you know, the past in terms of, you know, the Confederacy and, the, and slavery and so forth is an insult. As the Columbus statue towered over the dozens of vocal protesters, there was a smaller but just as vocal handful saying why we should keep it up. Leave any of the statues that were built in another day, leave them alone. Don't erase history. Let history be what it is. Even though there is a clear divide between both sides, there are some people who think we can solve this a different way. We spoke to one man who thinks we need to start with the schools. Uh, you know, he was a racist. There's no way that I like him, but he belongs in a history book, but the, the truth should be told about him. Kids shouldn't grow up believing he was this great explorer. Columbus didn't discover anything. It, you know, he just brought European colonialism to the Americas. But others say, leave history alone. It has to be taught because it's the truthful history of what happened and how the Americas were discovered by the Europeans. So it's, it's gigantic world history, right? So it's, you have to teach it. As vocal as the protesters were that evening, our own Mayor de Blasio wasn't too eager to share his opinion on the controversy. Marsha Kramer pressed him on the removal of the statues. Why can't you tell us flat out whether you'll remove it. Look, I think the right way to handle all the issues that have been brought up is to have a commission that looks at all of these matters, comes up with, as best as possible, a universal standard for how we move going forward. What's your personal that commission, opinion? That commission is about to be named, and I don't think it makes sense for me to opine on issue by issue. I can say one thing in general don't about what I feel. Don't you think the voters feel. deserve to know where you stand? I can say one thing about what I feel, and it's a very important thing to me. I'm a proud Italian-American. Even though Mayor de Blasio didn't speak much in his opinion, he did make it clear he's planning a commission to handle these problems. But what does this mean for the protesters? Columbus Day is coming around the corner. Will they pack up their signs and go home, or will they keep fighting? I'm Emerald Fletcher, reporting for Skyline. They get scared of a cop! It started with a boom, then the old Kashyushko Bridge came tumbling down. This was the first bridge to be taken down with explosion in New York City. Abel Alexander is there with the stories. Dozens of people showed up at the crack of dawn to see one of New York landmarks tumble down. The Cuscusco Bridge was first opened on August 23, 1939 to connect Brooklyn and Queens and to reduce traffic for people in the surrounding neighborhoods. But 78 years later, it proved to fall short of its initial goal. The Cuscusco Bridge had to be replaced. It was built to handle one quarter of the volume. It is a legendary bottleneck in the city of New York. The Cascusco Bridge made its end on October 1st, 2017 with a boom. Three, two, one, fire! 900 charts were set across 3,100 feet of steel. The bridge was cut into 10 sections on each side of Newtown Creek. Some of the kids even compared this phenomenon to James Bond movies, saying it was something out of this world. The Cascusco Bridge was named after Tidius Cascusco, a continental colonel who fought alongside our forefathers. The future Cascusco Bridge is set to hold up to nine lanes and also have a pedestrian and a bike lane, giving people a traffic-free highway. The second span of the new bridge should be done by 2020 at a total cost of around $800 million. Reporting from Brooklyn, I'm Abel Alexander, 
for Skyline. That's the end of our show. Thanks for watching Skyline Stories from across New York City and your own backyard. If you know of any great stories we should tell, let us know. We'll see you all next time.